Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, U.S. DOT Secretary releases drone rules update, RVL Aviation to launch world's first zero-emission cargo service, and DoorDash and Wing launch drone deliveries in Charlotte. And I'm your host, Talon Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. U.S. DOT Secretary Releases Drone Rules Update U.S. Secretary of Transportation Sean Duffy released an update on progress being made with proposed FAA drone rules controlling BV loss operations and restricting UAS operations at a fixed facility site. These were sent on May 13 to the Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs for review. The secretary wants to move the rules along expeditiously to enable stakeholders to understand their privileges and responsibilities as they make operational and other decisions. The office is under the Office of Management and Budget, and it reviews the details, legal and international impacts, and operational aspects of the proposed rules. These are discussed in open meetings with members of the media present, along with representatives from the FAA, DOT, and OMB, to hash out the constitutional, legal, and regulatory impacts of proposed rules and how they may be adjusted for implementation. The media are very interested in how the rules may affect their news-gathering operations, and there was acknowledgment of a balance between potential safety considerations and interference by drones with emergency and law enforcement personnel versus the First Amendment rights of media organizations. The rule governing the restrictions of UAS operations relative to fixed site facilities drew interest from commercial drone entities and alliances, as would be expected. After the break... 101st Airborne will be first to fly the Blackhawks replacement. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next Gen Minute. 101st Airborne will be first to fly the Black Hawks replacement. The U.S. Army is tapping the 101st Airborne Division as the first unit to fly its new future long-range assault aircraft, recently designated as the MV-75. This helicopter will serve as a replacement for the beloved UH-60 Black Hawk. This decision was announced by General James Mingus, Vice Chief of Staff of the Army at the Army Aviation Association of America Conference. The annual summit was held in Nashville, Tennessee. U.S. House and Senate bring bills enabling supersonic flight. Senators Ted Budd and Tom Tillis from North Carolina, Utah's Mike Lee and Tim Sheehy of Montana were joined by Representatives Sharice Davids of Kansas and Troy Nels of Texas in introducing bills in their respective chambers to legalize supersonic flight over land, which has been outlawed since 1973 due to the effects of the sonic booms. In the Senate, S-1759, the Supersonic Aviation Modernization Act, or SAM, would enable the operation of civilian supersonic flights within U.S. airspace under certain conditions. Archer releases first quarter financial and operating results. Archer Aviation announced its financial and operating results for the first quarter. The company also issued a letter to its shareholders and hosted a live webcast, both to discuss the results and estimates for the second quarter. He said, quote, Archer's pushing the boundaries of what's possible and reshaping the future of aviation for years to come. This quarter, the team made strong progress across our civil and defense efforts as we continue to deepen our strategic partner relationships and prepare for commercialization in the UAE later this year, end quote. Vertical Aerospace launches long-range VSOL program. 
Vertical Aerospace announced the development of a hybrid electric VTOL variant of its VX4 aircraft that will significantly expand its range and payload capabilities to open new market opportunities within the burgeoning urban air mobility market. The hybrid electric strategy extends its all-electric VX4, enabling novel possible applications in defense, logistics, and commercial segments, including air ambulance services that require higher payload capacities and longer ranges than current eVTOLs are capable of providing. That's it for our Next Gen Minute. Let's get back to the rest of the news. RVL Aviation to launch world's first zero-emission cargo service. RVL Aviation has inked a deal with Zero Avia to fly what may be the world's first zero-emission cargo service. The operator will utilize Cessna Grand Caravans retrofitted with the Hydrogen Electric ZA600 power plant. Zero-emission flights will be launched in the British Isles, but not before the partners are able to tick all certification and integration boxes. Zero Avia has been working closely with regulatory bodies to certify the ZA600 electric propulsion system. It's already received a certification basis G1 issue paper from the FAA that puts it on track to get the green light sometime this year. The 600 kilowatt ZA600 is a proven design, undergoing extensive testing on board a Dornier 228 at the manufacturer's UK base. Zero Avia is now collaborating with Textron Aviation to make the Cessna Grand Caravan the ZA600 EPS's launch airframe. RVL Aviation, with support from Zero Emission Aviation Lesser Monty, has confirmed that the ZA600-powered Cessna Caravan 208B will meet all current operational requirements for cargo services while reducing the aircraft's footprint to almost zero. If all goes well, RVL may expand the partnership to more small turboprop operations in its network and other parts of its offerings. After these messages, DoorDash and Wing launch drone deliveries in Charlotte. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, an even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. DoorDash and Wing launch drone deliveries in Charlotte. The partnership between DoorDash and Wing has for the first time introduced residential food delivery to Charlotte, North Carolina, as it expands operations beyond its current U.S. customers in Southwest Virginia and the Dallas-Fort Worth metro area. The partnership first launched drone delivery in Australia in 2022. The drone delivery service is available to eligible customers in Southern Charlotte who live within about four miles of the Arboretum Shopping Center. They are able to order from a selection of local and national restaurants, including Curry Junction, Matcha Cafe, Maiko, Joy Korean Food, and Panera Bread. Panera is the city's first national brand available for drone delivery, and for a limited time, customers can enjoy a bowl of Panera's iconic mac and cheese delivered via the DoorDash app for just a dollar. Harrison Shee, head of product for DoorDash Lab, said, quote, Autonomous delivery will help shape the future of local logistics, and we're proud to introduce drone delivery to Charlotte for the first time with Wing. What makes this launch special isn't just the technology, it's the experience. The partnership emerged through DoorDash Labs, the company's robotics and automation segment that focuses on identifying and integrating autonomous solutions to enhance the customer experience. DoorDash also partners with Coco Robotics for sidewalk robot delivery. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.